Silver fans, this is T, and you're in the place to be for Silver Education, Acquisition, and Entertainment. And hey, as you can see, the place to be is the Collector's Gallery. I'm back to visit Sherry once again in Oak Forest, Illinois. Hey, if you dig coin shop videos, be sure to subscribe. T. How are you? Hey, Good Sherry. to see you. I haven't seen you in like a week and a half, really. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> I know. You know uh, we did Sherry Week. and We did. How did that work out? It went really well. Good. Uh, Good. We had original content at the beginning of it and at the end of it. And in between, we did some best of Sherry stuff in between. And people got a kick out of it. I am sorry. I didn't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's par for the course. You I, know, know. So. I know it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, I'm going to start with a surprise. I've got a present for you. Oh God! So, should I be afraid? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Is it a puppy? Is it a puppy? No. Your very a own T-shirt, really? Get it? It's a T-shirt. T-shirt. <laughs> ah, I get it. You know what? I'm gonna wear it tonight. There you go. I'm gonna there wear you go. it. So all of you can watch me. I'm not changing out of my other shirt. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, can't do it. Is that too big? What would you? No, have? God, no. I'll wear it to bed. Okay. There you go. I'll think of silver stacking in my dreams. <laughs> there you go. I like it there very much go. so. And I have, some, I have something Hot for you. Okay. I have a gentleman who came in. He is with either SGT or GST stacking. Okay. And he dropped me off some coaster sticker thingies and a pin. Okay. The guy was extremely nice. I did not get his name. I wish I had, okay. I had remembered his name, but I'm horrible with names. So, well, but he was a very, very nice guy. Check this out here. Well, uh, let's see. GST, SG, oh, Sergeant Stacking. Oh, okay, FGT. you know what it is? Okay. Yeah, you know what? I'll put this on my sticker board. There you go. And, uh, well, hey, thank you. And Sergeant there, Stacking, is that his uh, name? There's a uh, pin right there. Pin cool, too. very yes. nice. Appreciate it. And there was another customer who was in, and he purchased, he's seen it here, and he purchased this for you. It's a Chicago Cubs Wrigley Field. Oh, that. Uh, Night to Remember, that one eight, ounce eight, silver eight, eight, eight. piece. Oh, cool. I guess you have to be a Cubs fan Absolutely. to. Absolutely. Hey, which, I, yeah. and take that out of Me, your not so much, but hand, okay. And, uh, <laughs> It'll go to a, a good home, and uh, well, and who is that? Uh, that was from Jeff. Okay, well, thank you. JT fifty one fifty J T J I J. Well, thank you, Jeff. Fifty one fifty. Appreciate it very much. Very nice, and that it will was. go in the old stack collection. Yes. And uh, it, it's, you know, it's nice to feel the love. In fact, I had I had a couple that came in all the way from Kalamazoo, Michigan today. Uh -huh. And they were so excited. You know, they they walked in the door, introduced themselves. We watch T and we've seen all your videos. <laughs> I was, you know, surprised to begin uh -huh. with. And I think uh -huh. they were extremely nice. They were traveling around, going to different uh, coin stores, checking Ooh. things out. And they were kind of depressed about the amount of silver that they're able to get up in Kalamazoo, which is close to none. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And you cannot get any constitutional 90% any of that stuff up there. The coin, the couple coin dealers that are up there just do not carry it. It's kind of funny you should mention that because I've been to Southwest Michigan and there's no good coin shops in Southwest Michigan. Michigan's a beautiful state, by okay. the way. Love visiting Michigan. Mm -hmm. But um, if anybody watching knows of any good coin shops in southwest Michigan, not too far from northwest Indiana, okay. let me know because I haven't found them. Okay. So, well, hey, I've got some questions for you. I figured sure. we talk a little bit of silver stacking. Okay. And so hey, my philosophy is uh, I buy what I can when I can. Uh -huh. And let me ask you this. Do you ever see any customers overextend themselves? Like buy too much and then have to come back and sell it in two months or anything like that? Or Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. People get onto the bandwagon. They get all excited and, you know, the market goes up a little bit and they think, oh, I'm going to jump on this bandwagon now or, and they jump in there and they, they start spending a bunch of money on that. And I don't question it. I mean, that's up to those people. I don't know their personal finances or anything like that. So, mm -hmm. um, but, but the, you know, a very short time later, whether it be a couple of weeks or a month or, mm -hmm. you know, something happens and they need that money and they're back selling that product, you know, right away that they had just purchased. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I see it. I see it. Don't yeah. like to see it, but I see it. I guess just kind of like in life, moderation right. makes sense. Yes, and most definitely. Buying over time and speaking over time, uh, you know, the uh, spot price has gone up, it's gone down. Oh, yeah, up it's and down. It's gone back up, up again. Every day, and up and down. Yeah. When it was up, 
and uh, you know you were buying silver for the shop, and mm -hmm. then it went down, and it took a, a nosedive. And mm -hmm. we, I was here mm -hmm. uh, a few weeks ago when that happened. Mm -hmm. Everybody uses the term "buy the dip." Mm -hmm. Do you guys like buy extra now that silver's uh, like today? Uh, last I checked, it was under twenty bucks. Or do you guys just buy consistently? I'm buying consistently. Okay. You know, I'm I buy consistently. I have I cannot. You know, being in business, you can't wait for the market to dip before okay. you jump out there and buy. Otherwise, you're never going to have any product for sale. So, so trying to time right. it is not something that makes sense. No, it doesn't make sense for me to do that. Okay. I mean, my life revolves around, you know, being able to buy and sell on a regular basis. I can't okay. worry about if the market goes down a dollar or up a dollar. Mm -hmm. It all evens out in the end. So. Okay. I just recently got my very first piece of poured silver. Okay. Do you have a lot of poured silver? Is there a demand I get it, I get for it once that? in a while. People seem to like that stuff. The um, like the old poured Engelhart bars and stuff like that. People really enjoy that stuff. Yeah. Um, and as far as a lot of the new modernish kind of stuff that they do, that's poured. Um, you know, there's they make some companies make some really cute stuff. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I like it when it comes in. I look at it. Yeah. I kind of. Okay. Does it I sell started. fast? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. As soon as I put it out, that stuff sells really quickly. Yeah. The guy that I bought it from is another YouTuber, and he's he's basically an artist. Okay. And his he's well known throughout the world okay. for his his high quality poured silver. I, maybe I'll start dabbling with that a little bit here and there. I don't know if I'm going to go hog wild and because the premiums are pretty high, but because you're buying an art piece, really. Right, right. You're right. Well, you know, like with the old poured Angle Hearts and Johnson Matthews and things like that. Mm -hmm. A lot of people collect those. Oh yeah, you know, highly collectible. Right, lot highly collectible. So you're you're paying a premium on that. So, I guess, I would I would do some of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you like it. Here again, it's something. If you like it, buy it. Mm -hmm. um, if the market goes up, great. If it doesn't, you bought it because you liked it. Mm -hmm. it. It is what it is. So, that's part of cost averaging. You know, every once in a while, buy something that you have to pay a little more for because your cost averaged it into everything else. So, mm -hmm. well, still silver stacking. You know, doesn't happen in a bubble. And of course, you know, it's we're in the middle of this economy, and people are saying we're heading towards a recession. Do you have any suggestions regarding silver stacking during a recession? Do you anticipate if we're in a full-blown recession, you'll get less customers, or will people come towards I, silver? I, I, as I a don't safety? think we're in a recession. I think things are just evening out finally. Yeah. Okay, I mean, we just went through this whole pandemic thing. Everybody was off work. Everybody was off school. Um, you know, life's starting to get back to normal. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't call that a recession. I'd call that getting back to getting back to life. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, and people are out and they're buying and um, I'm seeing a lot of retail sales and I'm purchasing a lot of products. So, okay. I mean, that, that never really stopped during mm -hmm. this whole entire thing. But mm -hmm. as far as a recession is concerned, I, I, I mean, people are saying it, but I don't see it. Mm -hmm. no. All right. 2022 Libra Tots. Have, have you any. received any yet? No. And they're just starting I haven't even to trickle. Seen, I haven't even seen one. Yeah, they're starting to trickle okay. in the shops, and I, I've got some on the way. Okay. Just wondering. Nope. Um, so you haven't had, like, an offer to purchase any from your, some of your wholesalers or anything nope, like that? Nope, nope. The last guy who offered to sell me any of them, um, he said he had, he asked me if I had Libertas. I said, no, I'm sorry, I don't. Mm -hmm. He says, well, I have some of them. Well, are you interested in selling them? Sure. He wanted $75 a piece. What? I said, I can't, I can't pay that <laughs> you know? well that's what they sell for on app max so, like that's great but yeah. i'm not that type of business that mm -hmm. you know i do that so but thank you for the offer guys you know <laughs> yeah, yeah. anybody uh, trying to offer me libertads at 75 dollars, i'm not interested but thank you eagles mm -hmm. uh, let me ask you one of uh, my viewers named paul was asking about colorized eagles are do the <laughs> you've got a i have my whole there. huge tray down there there's probably <laughs> A hundred plus pieces down there. No. Do those go for cheaper than just a eagle than regular eagles? Color? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna sell them to you at five dollars over spot. Okay. The same as a, just a regular one ounce silver round. So. Okay. Yeah. That was huh. that was a that whole. It doesn't seem like too bad of a deal. No, I, it, I it some, really doesn't. I've seen videos of people like getting the color off by d dipping them in chemicals and things like that. I don't know. I've never tried. So. Yeah. That, that's kind of a love hate thing. Some people either really love them. Or you just don't like them at all, and I mean, if you're gonna buy eagles, that's the cheapest eagles that you can buy out mm. there. So I mean, good to know. Yeah, yeah, regular common date silver eagles. My cost is over eight dollars a piece, and and 2022s is over ten dollars. So why not buy the cheapest ones you can get? You just call them impaired. Yeah. So 
Oh, I'm feeling, filling a book right now, so or an album, so maybe I'll buy one or two just to fill in some dates. There you go. That's that's your, nec that's your next one. You do a complete album all with <laughs> colorized silver eagles. Good luck with that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, what another viewer named uh, Strange uh, wants to know: five ounce, ten ounce kilos. Mm -hmm. uh, strong thoughts on any of those three sizes? A uh, kilo seems real hot right now. Oh yeah, everybody's always asking. Me I for can't kilos. afford a kilo, but everybody on the brother on yeah, I, on YouTube. I, yeah, is. I mean, if I got if I had kilo bars, I could sell them hand over fist. Uh -huh. I I don't have access to any of them at a reasonable price, and nobody's selling me any. Mm -hmm. So, but every time I get them, they sell immediately. Mm -hmm. um, five ounce bars too. People seem to love five ounce bars. Ten ounce bars. Everybody wanted ten ounce bars. Now I have a stock of ten ounce bars. Nobody wants any. Weird. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's funny. It goes like that. If you have it, nobody wants it. When you don't have it, everybody wants it. That's what it is. Uh, speaking of cheap silver, mm -hmm. uh, Martin was asking about like Canadian eighty percent. Mm -hmm. Is there a huge advantage? Is it considerably cheaper? Yes. Than, yes. It's than... considerably. Yeah, you're not paying that that huge premium on that stuff. So okay. So if you're willing to go that route, you can that, get that's a bargain. A, that's oh yeah, it's definitely a bargain. What's to, junk going for today? Oh Is it seven God, over? Too much. Um, I, it, one second, I will tell you the numbers. <laughs> uh, ninety. As far as ninety, premiums are pretty high still. Um, regular ninety is my cost on it is six dollars and 45 cents over wow. spot no kidding and if it's half dollars my cost is ten dollars and 40 cents over Man, spot huge just... huge stupid premium stupid premium that used to be the cheap stuff yep used to be the cheap stuff um canadian 80 mm percent -hmm. uh based on silver at 19 dollars and 30 cents mm -hmm. uh i can get ten dollars and 80 cents per dollar okay so that's a that's a decent number as far as that stuff is concerned mm -hmm. Um, but you got to take it where you, you know, what, what it is that you're looking for and what it is that you, you want to spend, you know, where, where can you get the most bang for your buck? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, I, uh, I've been in here a while. I'm starting to get the itch. I need to do some shopping. Okay. So I'm going to look around. I, <laughs> and know, I have customers standing outside looking at me like, yeah. You know. And I, as I was walking in, I saw something I was already interested in. Okay. Uh, before I do that though, sure. uh, I want to mention, uh, Whoever that was that dropped off that uh, Chicago Cubs round for me that you showed. Uh, Jeff, 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 JT5150. All right, uh, Jeff, this is for you, man. Uh, the second T-shirt. Oh. Sherry's got the first. I this is for uh, Jeff. And so I'll leave that there Thank for, you. for Jeff. And, and I will hang. I will save that for him. I wasn't sure if my viewers might be interested in purchasing one. If they are, just they can email me. Okay. And yeah. really just their Most kind definitely. of giveaways and stuff oh, like and that. Oh, and by the way, the gentleman who won that... Um, oh, Beto. The, yeah, that, that bar. That five that, yeah, that was, you know, he was so excited about that. He that was, was shipped out. And uh -huh. Did he let you know if he got it and everything he got was good? It. good? He got like, it. made like several messages. Good, Thanks, good. Thanks, Sherry. I'm glad. Thank you very much. Good. And, that was really cool, and yeah. that was a nice bar. It was. It was it very cool. I know. I suck. I suckered you out of that one. He's like, "Oh, I want to." Next no, one that sorry. comes in, That's... you let me know, Sharon. <laughs> Most definitely. All right. Well, hey, I appreciate the time. And thank you, T. Uh, Good to see you, everybody. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you. <laughs> hey, special thank you to my channel members. And by the way, channel members email me. I'd like to hook you up in a special way with uh, one of those uh, t-shirts. And uh, if you're interested in becoming a channel member, the information is in the video description. It is now time to show what I purchased. Thank you so much for watching. Here we go. It's a whole hodgepodge. I found this little Libertad and couldn't pass it up. We talked about Canadian silver. I saw that totem pole and this Voyager couldn't pass it up. And something for my wife. Uh, she, like Michael Jackson back in the day, had the albums, and why not, you know? <laughs> Maybe she'll get a kick out of it. I don't know. There he is, the king of pop. And then something for myself, really, for the weight of my stack. Uh, this is what I got, an Amark bar. And, you know, I really don't like them mm. in plastic. So, yeah. you know what? I just took it right out of the plastic. I want to feel that silver. And, uh, you know, that's another 10 ounces for the old stack. Now, you guys are always usually pretty curious as, hey, how much did you pay for this, that, or the other? I can't remember exactly all the details, but for the whole shebang, it was $260. So, uh, good day at the coin shop.
And by the way, if any of you'd like to meet me today, I'll be at the ANA World Fair of Money. I'll be the guy in the t-shirt.